Goku looks so fucking cool. I, there's no reason for me not to play him. I, I got called a, a name and then uh, insulted for using my extra large control. Oh, like, honestly, I'm be real with you. I'm about to go try hard mode on this demo build. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for our second day of Mount Paltu Arcade. I am Meta Abe here with my co-host Hell Pockets, which is a very special guest, H G from Shonen hey. Games. What's up, guys? <laughs> How's it going? Dude, two days in a row, man. Back like, to back. You like you know Shonen Games? Uh, what, what would you like us to call you actually? Because we don't want to call you by. You can call name. me H G. I think H -G. people. Who know Shonen at this point know me as HG. Okay, cool. HG, like, you know, you, you obviously must be somebody pretty important because nah, get, us out, nah. get us out of the office two days in a row for <laughs> yeah. this special Friday episode. You know, it's no special small occasion. Thing. It is a little bit of a special occasion because right now we are running up against Jump Festa. I think I'm actually watching it right now. I just we just got we just got done watching that Boku no Hero Academia game. Uh Looking I mean, questionable. <laughs> yeah, it's ha it's happening for real. It's gonna you know? exist. But I mean, hey, you know, we're here waiting for that Dragon Ball Fighters info dump that could happen at any moment now. But in the, meantime, like in the meantime, miniature info dump already. Oh yeah, I know, right? I feel like we've been so saturated and like you know, you <laughs> because of you guys actually, right? You oh, know, like, all the information it. comes out of you guys firsthand and you know, we kind of play catch up as the week goes. So, you know, we're going to be picking your brain about that. Um, <laughs> but, you know, other than that, you know, hopefully uh, everybody's filtering in right now and enjoying themselves watching the Jump Fest to stream. And, uh, you know, we'll get to talking to you about, I mean, first of all, like, how did Shonen Games even come about? You know, like, how do, how do you guys even get together? You guys well, squad up, man. <laughs> yeah, well, two of us are actually related. So oh. uh, yeah, so it's me, uh, my cousin. Uh, it's uh, the Game Tajers on YouTube, and uh, our buddy Christian. Uh, I think it's it's Kaito on YouTube. So Christian uh, was kind of both of our graphics guy. Like me and TG both did YouTube, and he did all of our graphics and stuff. Mm -hmm. And it just got to a point where we all started doing really, really similar content, and we were kind of fighting with each other. Mm. And it was like this awkward kind of pissmus in the air. It's like, uh, oh, dude, your video is kind of interfering with my views and stuff like that. Uh oh. So we realized like, hey, it's a lot better for us to be working together uh, towards making like this sort of content than to be like fighting each other over who gets to do this kind of video, like out of respect, like, oh, I won't touch that game if you do this, stuff like that. If we all just do the same thing on the same channel, it just benefited all of us. Um, so we worked for a website called say an uh, and it's like a, just a big website in the anime community. No way. Say an Island. Really? Yeah. Yeah. We were oh, uh, writers wow. there for a while. And I think like right as soon as I started my YouTube channel, I think within a few months, uh, cause we had been there, I'd been a member of the forums there for a long time. Like that site's been around for a really, really long time. No, yeah. For real ancient man. Yeah. It's just old. <laughs> it's a piece of internet history now as far as like, the anime <laughs> community goes. But um, the mod there is like a questionable human being. Uh, and just because of that, it kind of led to us starting like our website. And we got a lot of uh, experience from working there. Um, and yeah, like the main thing that we wanted to do was to just bring translations for scans. Because it was a thing that was kind of like scans were a thing. Like you'd see the images and whatnot, but you would get like really kind of weird loose translations from people. And um, when we were working on Saiyan Island, the whole kind of idea was, hey, let's Photoshop onto the scans like the translations so we don't have to have these weird written articles yeah you guys are the first ones to do that if I remember yeah correctly. I, I, I think some people have done it but it was never like an organized effort to do it weekly or do it monthly yeah like it was um, becoming like it, you like it was like the thing like you would see those scans everywhere yeah so what ended up happening is the admin for san island just wanted us to put these and you can still find these images like giant watermarks across mm. the image like just in like comic sans not even like good logos or anything <laughs> um and it's just like we got a lot of flack for it on like forums everywhere and it was affecting like the scan community uh people oh, were shit. uploading like their own watermark like the the source for scans at the time was a guy from arlong park which is another forum like a one piece forum mm -hmm. and he started watermarking the scans 
The ones that and you guys we were would, making. Yeah, and then we would have to watermark over those. Because originally, it wasn't like we didn't have a source. It was a guy that uploaded them just online. So we had to get them from some forum and then do the translations and whatnot. Now we've gotten to the point where, you know, you have a source. You don't have to depend on it to be posted online somewhere. You don't have to worry about, like, someone else watermarking or doing any kind of weird stuff. Um, and once we opened our, our website, we d- didn't have to do the big, sprawling watermark across the screen stuff. Mm-hmm. I think people got to realize, like, oh, these guys are, like, good guys. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to be ruining these images and kind of cutting through stuff. Like, they're genuinely trying to get the information out there. Right. Um, And that's kind of just been the thing we do on the website. We write a lot of articles and stuff here and there, but most of it is reporting on, like, scans and and information like that. Cool, man. Like, actually, um, the story you're telling is basically a piece of Dragon Ball fandom history, you know? like Oh, that's awesome. (laughs) It was like a war zone like people just like putting stuff up all over the place i mean like we we should definitely take note abe like uh if we ever make any original content you know just uh, we gotta protect it man yeah man those uh angle fire and geo sites websites real Dude. Ooh. <laughs> back when you actually had to tell people like yeah you know this is like an original cell scan like you know animation cell scan from me and then that uh, shit was like everywhere in like a week yeah yeah oh my god yeah, but oh, cool though, man. Yeah, that's mainly how it came together. It just came together as a, a group of people trying to get info out there uh, in like a kind of pretty way. I mean, the, I think we've evolved a little bit in the way that we even Photoshop the scans. Like, I look back at some of them and I'm like, oh, we put this out. This looks awful. And now it's kind of <laughs> uh, like, do we already now... feel about that? Like, when, <laughs> yeah, with yeah, the yeah, first MPA like... episodes, like, how dare we? <laughs> It's just crazy to see, like, how a few different fonts and stuff like that completely changes how good an image can look. Um, So, yeah, I'm just grateful for, like, having the experience of doing this. And it's been a really fun ride so far. And uh, now with Fighters, we're, like, kind of an even bigger part of the community. Mm -hmm. Because I think we've kind of been, like, breaking a lot of the the character reveals and stuff. And I'm just really appreciative of all the, the fans out there who, like, wait religiously every month on, like, the 15th through the 18th to wait for, like, the new character reveals and whatnot. Yeah, you're really a crack dealer right now, man. Yeah, right. <laughs> people wait yeah. every month for the people V-Jump like, scans. Well, like, when you started talking to us personally, I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yeah. It showed up on my feed, like, a ton of times, and I was like, okay, this is what's up. This, this yeah, ain't no joke. This is real. this guy. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> no, yeah, that's, that's really cool, you know? Um, I mean, really, what, like, I guess all – of the uh you know big shonen game series probably attract you or people on your staff um but what specifically about fighters is like giving you and your team like that extra boost of energy and make the extra effort to just be like you know i think the fighters team you know because we like genuinely love like this kind of stuff like like games that people don't enjoy like j uh j stars mm-hmm. and stuff like that like anytime a new like anime game or whatnot is announced we all genuinely get very excited for it like there's a few examples like battle of z and like mm-hmm. stuff where we're like uh what do you what do you release in bandai <laughs> like genuinely we get excited and it's just like part of like getting a scan and seeing it in the dropbox or like however we get it mm-hmm. and then just like us waiting for translations i feel like we get more excited than like the fans waiting for translations which to a lot of people seems ridiculous because they're like where are these trip but it's like it's a struggle to not like, you know what I mean? It's it's rough just sitting there. Like, oh, I want to know what this says. I see the clear images. I want to know what it says. No nah, man, it's so, oh dude. Um, do you guys do the translations in the house, or is that something that uh, you have? Some... Yeah, well, so a lot of the times we have uh for like a long time we've had certain translators uh, mm-hmm. that specifically like will translate for us. Now, like a lot of people are busy. We have one guy uh, that translates on and off. But he is currently like working a job so he can move back to Japan and stuff like that. So, you know, he's kind of off right now. So, you know, we, we try to vet anyone who's going to uh, be translating for us. Mm-hmm. We're not because we don't want to obviously be putting out anything that's inaccurate or, you know, right. it, just looking wild out there with some weird 4chan translation. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, yeah, most of it's in-house, but a lot of it sometimes it just had like we have to get a scan out. Um, there's a few people that we can reach out to, like uh, our website designer. Is actually really good at translating. It's just we don't want to, you know, you don't want to get too hard on that guy to start doing something because your website just goes down or something ridiculous. Just like, by the way, it's in the middle of translating <laughs> that. Could you uh, fix the SQL? <laughs> yeah. So it's just in. Uh, it's it's good. We have like, it's kind of crazy to see that we went from just being three guys who were kind of friends over like the internet to like now having like translators and like 
how do you even go about that process of getting like a, a source for scans, uh, translators that are like, you know, credible. And I think it's genuinely because people like, like what they're doing. Like they like being able to offer the translations to the community. They're like being able to give out information and stuff like that. So since, you know, that kind of aligns at our interests, it works out. It like works out really well. Oh, well. That's in, that's interesting, man. Because I feel like that's what's really brought a lot of the people that have come onto Mount Patsu Arcade, and uh, together as well. Where it's just like we just so happen to cross over into common interests, and here we are. Yeah, that's basically, that's, game, game goons in a nutshell. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of the best ways to like have anything online. It's just to have like a genuine kind of experience with your fans and whatnot, where. You're not doing it for like these weird skewed reasons. It really is like we're all we all like this common thing. We all have this common goal of like getting information out there or or enjoying this game or, or having like that thing do well. Um, and it's not like it's more natural that way. You know what I mean? Like having all the fans sort of come together and push forward in the same direction and not having like these weird goals on the left and right. Oh, I want to do this with this company or that. It's like, no, like I genuinely want to just get information out there as quick as possible. So like it hurts me too when uh, scans take a long time. I know we took a little while on the Xenoverse scan recently, and fans got a, a little angry about it. <laughs> but <laughs> that must be like the blow up, right? Where you're just like somebody's like sending you a message, like, "Hey, where is that scan translation?" Yeah. No, I know they got we have raw. <laughs> <laughs> they got we haven't gotten to like the death threat like stage. Where, like, we're not like <laughs> I'm literally standing here with a knife <laughs> to my daughter's throat. He's like, "I will destroy all the mortals if you don't pass me this scan." <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I'm, like that's that's it's real, man. Like you know, I know some, <laughs> that's some, like like the big one right now is like what the reaction videos and people are like, where's the reaction video to this release? Like, <laughs> damn, is that important? It's it's uh, to some people, man. Like I kind of feel yeah. it too, because like when I go a whole month and I'm like, man, I ain't had no Dragon Ball Fighters information come out. I'm like, oh, start itching, man, start itching. Scans, yeah, the sc man. The scans, man. And like it, it, like it did, like I have to fight myself not to message you, like, hey. So, so uh, hey, man, well, uh, got on that shit, baby. <laughs> yeah, and then we get a lot. I don't really mind it at this point. I kind of like am aware. Like I take it as kind of a compliment for people to come to us and be like, hey. When is this coming out? Because it means that people are seeing us as like the first kind of place to check for that uh, for that news to come out. And that's, well, I the think cool really thing fun. is you guys are extremely visible. That's the thing that really draws me to Sony mm -hmm. Games. The brand is the fact that you are easily the most visible information network for uh, the anime, um, or at least of that persuasion. Um, obviously, there are other people like... Um, I can't even think of the top of my head right now, actually. There's like uh, great, really great websites that cover some of the stuff that we cover. Yeah, there um, are. Like, uh, like Yonko Gamatsu. Productions, I believe, right? Yonko, Yonko is fantastic. Yeah. Yonko, yeah. <laughs> I can't work as hard as Yonko does. No, and that, I work really, me. really hard. That guy is a machine. Yeah, I, 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 I that was that was one of my first sources too. So, but like now, and I know you guys, you know, on on Twitter at least, you seem to have a. A smaller oh, no, presence, are. but at the same time, it's extremely like the swath is like yeah, it's very so effective. <laughs> it's like it's like this weird feverish fan base that we have that uh it's it's like really quiet during a lot of the month, but the, it just starts rumbling and building up towards when people are understand that a release is coming out of information. Mm -hmm. So like just the first week and a half of the month, it's like a little quiet. And then as soon as the, the whispers of V jump mm -hmm. <laughs> or the whispers of a certain magazine come out, everyone's like, Hey, uh, how you guys doing? You guys doing great. You guys uh, got them scans. <laughs> Go uh, yeah, man. We, we've definitely noticed that even in our, our little community in the discord, <laughs> like, what's up, bro. How you going? <laughs> we, we see you're in there. <laughs> we see the green dot. They're like, what's yeah. up? You watching? You watching? Yeah. <laughs> what's good. <laughs> I like whatever that whatever Davimon just adds everybody. He's really just talking to you. It's like, he's is Broly hey. in jump yet? <laughs> <laughs> What's that V jump looking like? <laughs> uh, but I do find it really interesting that a lot of the people that we've had on have a very similar story to where it, you guys have very storied past as to how we got to where we're at right now. You know, it's it's definitely for a lot of you guys. It's not your first rodeos, you know, and it shows how. Uh, certain groups of people are rising to the top versus others that are trying to attempt the same thing, you know? It's just about sticking to it, really. I mean, yeah. I, I, I would have never, like, when I started doing YouTube, it was literally just a suggestion by uh, TG, my cousin, the other owner of Shonen, or one of the other owners mm -hmm. of Shonen. He was just like, hey, like, you're an interesting guy. You should do this. 
And like, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to start doing this, but I started doing it. And I would have never guessed that I'd be like where I am at now with the website and all this stuff. And like, I have like ideas for where to take it in the future. And that stuff is just, you asked me 10 years ago, Hey, would you be, do-? I would no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's scans. What's that? Like, I don't know what's going on. Shit, we're just crazy to see. Here. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's wild. It's crazy to see like where the website is and just the fact that people like have the website bookmarked is like, it's crazy. To me. I, don't, I don't get it. It's like this thing that you created that people like kind of gravitate towards. It's really weird to have that sort of thing in the website and the YouTube channel. Like we like had like this period where we were only doing gameplay and now we're doing a lot of uh, just speaking and content based stuff around like theories and whatnot. We had like a video hit like a million views the other month mm-hmm. of like oh. just a manga topic Shit. that never had like no one just talks about a manga chapter. And it's just crazy. I don't know what's going on, but I wanted to keep going. <laughs> <laughs> you got to strike that lightning bolt twice, you know? Yeah, I love it, though. It's like this weird rush you get when, like, something that you make does well. Yeah. And it's not like that it does well because, like, these, like, weird reasons. It does well because people genuinely like it and it pushes you to do more of that thing. Yeah, man. Yeah, we've definitely got hit by that, right, Chris? I mean, we're over here doing <laughs> double episodes. <laughs> back and uh, back. Only do one. Uh, and I've been talking to Chris. Is like, dude, you know what? We need to double up more, dude. Like, like we're 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 knocking these out pretty quick. They're pretty concise. I think we, we should start have doing it more. Of this shit. <laughs> oh, shit. oh my <laughs> god, a third day. That, that, I started it. I started that's it. That's too much progress in in one month. <laughs> Maybe 2019. Hey, who knows, right. man? <laughs> but uh, I mean, it, nah, we got hit man. by that too. Yeah, we get hit by that all the time. You know, like when we first started Game Goons, like you know, we did like uh some some videos here and there and then i made like some like metallica reaction video and it did really well and we ended up using that as a tool to like get the subs we needed to uh get the the, the custom url and i mm-hmm. was like okay guys we're done i'm like man i should i should make more of those you know so uh you never know what kind of like you know media bug is gonna bite you um i know what's biting me right now actually is this Uh-oh. is jump fest stream like oh yeah dude like they are <laughs> When are Kinda they going just... back up right now, man? I was ex- I was expecting to be distracted right now. I think it's like every cut. hour or every two hours or something. I don't know. Yeah, I haven't seen a schedule or anything like that. But, you know, the thing that was getting me, we were talking about it before the show, about how, like, they were showing Boku no Hero Macadamia. Macadamia, that's what I Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Coined another phrase. All right. There you go. Macadamia heroes, you know? Like, Let's um, uh, They're showing it. But, then, like, you see the fighters trailer in the background. I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What's that? What's that? Can man? I get a piece of that? Can I get a little, <laughs> little... <laughs> And to the left, you know, yeah, so no. they, they're, they're fucking with us pretty cool right now. But like, I, I'm hype. I'm like super excited because like you, I imagine you've seen a couple of these before. These jump festas. Oh, yeah. We follow. We've just been following for a long time at this point. Like just every year, it's this big event that we all sit down and we're like, all right, what are you doing this year? And it's gotten to the point where we can kind of guess a little bit like before, like a few weeks before the show, like, all right, they might show this. Mm-hmm. They might show that. And just as the years go by, it becomes more of like an educated guess than just a wild speculation that's like a jump fest a pundit man that's pretty sick <laughs> it's becoming <laughs> that way yeah yeah i mean like so what what can we expect as because i've i've never seen a jump fest broadcast before so um, a lot of people don't even know like what jump fest is specifically uh so just for like a lot of the western audience if you want to picture what jump fest is it's like e3 but for like all things anime for the most part it's like their giant anime event uh for like weekly shonen jump and all that kind of stuff so anything related to like dragon ball one piece like all those shows if there's anything new coming out within the next six months eight months or the next year it's going to be showed at jump festa so last year one of the big announcements that we got at jump festa was the the new arc for dragon ball super which is the arc that we're currently in right now right they announced that at jump festa and that's the kind of like level of stuff that they announced there they always show like new game trailers for all the popular weekly show in the jump series and stuff like that um announcing new seasons of anime and and just there's a lot of exciting stuff that's there like they they always have new builds for demos like they're also very strict there about covering footage which oh, is one of the big problems it's one of the big problems uh because we've gotten like someone kicked out <laughs> <laughs> so this is like somebody you sent over there to cover this. Yeah, or? someone specifically that we were like, "Hey, go to Jump Festa," and like we need you to record this trailer. Or so and he's like, "Oh, they're strict, dude." And it's like, "Hey, you know, you got it." 
<laughs> <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? You got it. What are they gonna do? Kick you out? And he's like, "Yeah, they did. <laughs> I'm out." <laughs> Badge of honor, baby. Has tasers and up. everything, man. Yeah, like so. We've just tried to devise all sorts of ways to like bring in like spy cameras and all. just does not work out. They're strict. I mean, at least thank God they're doing their own broadcast then, man. Like, yeah, I mean, this year, I don't know if, like, a lot of the times we really depend on having someone there sneaking footage over. So thank God now it's just like, all right, we're showing you main stage and stuff like that. Oh, Definitely that's cool. is helpful. I mean, I, I, I've been to Japan before. I'm like, yeah, those, those, uh, those shows are like, it's weird because, like, they're really quiet. So, like... They can definitely like almost sense when you're kind of nervous because like the, the energy oh. in the air just suddenly like, changes oh, around boy. you, you know? Like, you're just like, this dude's sweating too much, you know? Suspect. Sector G. We got a bogey in Sector G. <laughs> <laughs> he does not belong. belong. <laughs> he does not belong. He's sweating too much. I think you got a camera in that hat, you know? <laughs> so like, I mean, so what do we know so far? We, we've already seen, uh, thanks to you guys, the V-Jump scan showing Beerus uh hit and goku black do you think and is there a precedent for something beyond that i think what we're gonna see at jump festa uh is gonna be some level of story related trailer because again it's like their Mm -hmm. big push of like the year because i know the game comes out february 1st in japan so this is like their biggest event i think between now and then so they want to show you like the the different modes, the story modes. They're obviously going to show Hit Beerus and and Black in the trailer. I think a lot of people have been debating whether or not they do that uh, because we're supposed to be getting the character trailers and whatnot that no one likes. No one enjoys the fifteen second teases. <laughs> it's like a struggle. Oh, God, dude. but I, I'm pretty sure we'll see them in the 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 trailer that we're getting either today or tonight or whenever they're doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, this is just a lot of stuff to show off, really. I mean. I don't know how much they're going to be able to show off without starting to get into like you've shown too much. Um, mm-hmm. But I think they always find like a pretty good balance. I, I never walk away from a jump festa trailer feeling like they, they showed me too much that they're pretty reserved about what they show. Yeah. Like, especially with fighters, they've actually done a pretty good job. Just like, I mean, obviously the 15 second trailers is very much the epitome of that. But uh, I mean, like some of the bigger trailers they've done, like even the story mode one that came out recently, like mm-hmm. it shows some stuff. But I was also like, yeah, there's there's probably a lot more than that involved with it. It shows cause... some stuff, and it like hints towards other things that, like, I think by now, uh, from now to release, we might see in other trailers and stuff like that. Like, what a lot of what they like to do is like wet your tongue with the potential of like the next reveal, and like they're probably in this trailer going to be hyping up whatever reveal we're getting in January, and that's kind of like. They try to keep the hype train rolling and not just rolling, but like as fast as it possibly can go until it just crashes through the terminal on release. We just need it to keep going until like July or actually August. That's when Evo is. We just need to keep going until like Evo. <laughs> it, no, I think they're getting the lock. It's pretty crazy, though, how they've really tightened up on certain things that they were showing um, pre PAX uh, build for the beta. Mm-hmm. Um, because like we were talking about yesterday, they had. Uh, people showing off gameplay for the game and longer trailers and then all of a sudden you start seeing them getting so, real yeah. tight with what they're showing uh like you said they're giving you enough to to sample but it's like damn i, I like barely saw anything in that yeah, and i gotta <laughs> i gotta hold on to that for a while it's super 50 50 because I, I know a lot of people that think the marketing for the game is horrible and i don't agree but I, I think it could be better but it's like they're they're wetting your tongue like they want you to get that drop of water and they're keeping you from, like, you know, what's the opposite of drowning? I'm having, like, a brain fart. But it's just, just drying out, basically, right? Yeah, they're dying keeping you from thirst, being, like, you know? quenched. They give you a little bit, and they wait, you know, and they tease on Twitter now because the Bandai strategy now seems to just be trolling you. Oh, God. Oh, please, <laughs> man. It does not work. Believe they, me. They've, they've been adopting it pretty hard. Yeah, man. Yeah. yeah it's just like, I boo just... trailer? It's like, please, no, no, don't do this. <laughs> don't. I Just show me. I've been hanging out with Ono too long, man. Like, like, <laughs> genius, man. Look how many torture and rhyme on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> but like, actually, you you just you just brought up something really interesting when you said that uh, they might be revealing something in January. Now, I'm not taking that as like a you know an insider mm-hmm. thing that there's going to be a January reveal because obviously with the open beta taking place in January and then the game coming out for us in January, there may not really be that uh, area of time for them 
to uh, drop information, especially since well, it's dropping on the 26th. Well, we have V Jump still in the middle of the month, and I, That's I just usually the 21st though, right? Well, it comes out officially on the 21st. Okay. But uh, then, like in Japan, it comes out officially on the 21st, but the game doesn't come out. I think like a week and a half after. So you think they might actually run that by Japan's clock and not necessarily ours, where we could end up getting a reveal as we're getting the game? Yeah, because I don't really get uh, how Bandai announces characters like in the West. They kind of just start showing screenshots. Like, I think they sort of understood, oh, okay, whenever these characters are about to get announced, they always get leaked one way or another online. I I think they're aware that, like, we're going to get, like, not us specifically, maybe. Uh, but people are going to get a hold of these magazines early. And I feel mm-hmm. like they've catered their marketing strategy towards that. So they're like, all right, we're not going to have this big event plan to show off these three characters. And maybe that might hinder the marketing strategy a little bit, but we're not going to have this big thing going on. We're just going to release screenshots because we know that they're going to get announced. I swear to God, that can only work with this game. Like you do that with any other game and you're just like <laughs> rip. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's because of the excitement behind, like, people were super excited for Yamcha and TN. Like, there's characters that you like, oh, it's going to be a slow month this month because it's Yamcha and TN, and people just explode yeah. with excitement. Um, well, so... I, I think another aspect of it, too, is like, well, how is that translation from a uh, series to the actual game going to look like? And though you got some pictures or some scans like the seeing it in motion is like just a whole different oh, it's completely thing different i remember yeah. when the game was i think they there was like a leaked screenshot or something and it's like the main graphic that they use still with like goku commandmating up to boom oh yeah that's right that's right yeah, yeah. yeah it's like is this what the game's gonna look like because if it, it's gonna be ridiculous if that is and I, I thought it was key art i argued with people for a while i'm like that's not what the game's gonna look like there's no way there's absolutely uh-huh. no way that we're gonna get a game that's beautiful and it looks great it looks fantastic <laughs> And it's like, I don't care who you throw in. You can throw Aureli. You can throw any random character in there. I want to see them in this art style. I, just, I can't wait to see a character, play every character, see what they're like. And I think that's a big part of the uh, the excitement. Because no matter who it is, you're excited to get a hold of them and we see what they can do and see like what homage is they Because everything is just taken from the source material. All the moves and everything. You want to see what they included in the game. Yeah, no, that's that's a hundred percent. Now, I, now, me personally, I'm actually at the point finally where I I actually don't want to play any more characters. I think I saw you like, tweet that. Yeah, I'm tweeting like, dude, I'm finally at the point with Dragon Ball Fighters where I'm like, it's not necessarily at my limit, but I'm like, I I have like like freaking fifteen characters that I'm looking to mess with. You know, yeah, every time that like a new character reveal comes out, I question what I think my team is gonna be. Yeah, dude, the character oh. crisis is real. I'm like, oh, I want to do like Boo 16 and someone else, but then like, oh, Black oh, it looks great. What am I going to do? But Gotex looks great too. I have no idea what I'm going to do for like my core team. Uh, and I think that's just, again, like another, you see like how much work they're putting into these characters. And that's just another kind of look at like how hype every single character is that even when Yamcha and Tien come out, you're like, ah, which one of these guys am I going to main? I don't know what's going to go on because I thought I had a character set and now I definitely don't. You know, it's funny you mentioned that because I um, might have been one of those people who were jumping on the bandwagon of not wanting all these Gokus on the game. But when I saw <laughs> Goku Black, that all when I, week. When, dude, when I saw Goku Black, though, I was like, I nope. changed my mind. Fuck. I've <laughs> yeah, but there's something just badass about Goku with a scythe. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, 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 I legit think that you know when when they were doing that character in the show, I was just like, this character in a fighting game is just gonna be so beautiful, it's flashy, yeah. it just like it definitely and, is. And on top of that, he just basically looks like Goku, so it's almost like bizarre to look at. Yeah, it's like the the allure that like Bizarro has, and like a lot of the Superman yeah, comics. exactly, it's Bizarro Superman in the way. <laughs> God damn, dude. I mean, yeah, that picture yeah. of him mid wind ups pretty awesome, too. Oh, man. Like, I like the way that they're toying with the angles and the animation in this game. They have, like, the smear frames of Go Tanks. Like, they're working really, really hard. They to make really the ratcheted that up, too. Like, yeah, it's like, great. Like, the earlier in the earlier builds, they definitely didn't use them. And now almost every character has, like, three camera angle switches. And I'm like, <laughs> great. Let's keep that up. Yeah, and then the game looks gorgeous. Yeah, we were talking about that before we started about how uh, the animation in this game is comparable to like animation studios. Yeah, you know, they're if not using, better. They're using like techniques like they're using like impact frames. And impact frames are like uh 
like the screen will go all white and there'll be like a little black shadow there and like it's it's just meant to like kind of pop visually and like a lot of anime studios are just late like i don't want to say they're lazy but they're not using stuff like that like a lot of the times you'll see someone post like best animation of the week or of the anime season it'll be something that has like a bunch of impact frames and Mm -hmm. smears everywhere and stuff like that and it's crazy to see that in a fighting game like you see when goku transforms it just it looks amazing and it's just like weird it's kind of it's like unholy almost it's like how did we get a game that looks like this to exist what did we have to lose this to happen i think like (laughs) i think animation studios are like hey hey you're not supposed to be able to do that man why are you doing that (laughs) yeah bandai's kind of there right now with those uh because even the naruto storm games as much as people like hate on them a little bit they had really really beautiful cutscenes. i remember seeing those yeah like a lot of people were just like this is almost replaceable it looks better like, than the anime than the anime yeah yeah um which is great that's great for the gamers you know we're just yeah, like okay cool we we'll for... just play the fucking games from now on yeah I, I i urge people in general who are like fans of the naruto series just just get all the games just get all the games play through the story that way because you cut through all the fat and it looks better oh yeah man. <laughs> it looks a lot better like there's like um i mean there's that new shinobi strikers games that's coming out like actually the mm. debate is happening right now right mm. <laughs> Oh, we got some. We got some. All right. Well, this is not a Naruto show, so I won't yeah, ask you to yeah, come yeah. out the pockets about it. But, no, the uh, game looks pretty. There's that. Stepped yeah, on was, a landmine. I, stepped on. I was only, I was only commenting on how pretty it looked. I didn't want to. Gorgeous. Yeah. It, it also exists, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You're like gonna start out Naruto Shinobi Strikers versus Dragon Ball Fighters War. That's no, gonna, all right. Naruto awesome. can get hakai for this. Uh, for this discussion. Oh boy. Let's get rid- <laughs> some crazy shit though they're talking about like when they when they were first teasing the uh the macadamia hero shit like they were like uh <laughs> maybe arxus is gonna make a fighting game for this too like dude they're like well that that rumor really started because of an art that we had done yeah that was your guys' fault I just yeah that. <laughs> so that rumor i remember we posted like because i'm i'm just a big fan of like having art that matches the content that i want to make so right. if i have an idea for like hey wouldn't it be great if like like fighters looks amazing Let's see if they could like take that and do it with something else. And I think My Hero Academia is a good kind of, you know, series to do that with. So he went to our artist and like, hey, how can you take something from this series and make it look like fighters so we can get that like that visual across so people understand what we're talking about without us even have to say uh, say anything. And then the video or the article will back that up. And yeah, people just kind of grab that. Mm-hmm. Instead of throwing it everywhere, like Arxis, my hero game confirmed. Like it was, cr- it exploded all over the internet, and I think a lot of people still don't know where it came from, uh, and a lot of people were disappointed. <laughs> this I mean, game isn't that? <laughs> but uh, you know, if, I feel feel kind of bad. I, I think I, you if, guys. Oh, go ahead. Yeah. No, 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 man, no, you're good. Go ahead. No, I was just gonna say some shit about how I woke up in the morning and then like I saw it. Now I had that that moment where I was like, oh no, <laughs> baby, what are you doing? Like Bandai's <laughs> going for it this year. <laughs> I think it's just an exciting thing to think that, like, okay, Dragon Ball Fighters came out and it looks like that, so that means that it's possible. What the fuck? Why guess, don't we do that with every franchise that we think is dope ever? Like, I mean, the shit. Fighters is opening a door. Like, there's, yeah. there's always been this kind of like, not maybe huge, but there's always been this like want in the anime community for like more serious fighters. I mean, obviously, it's fun to have games like Naruto Storm and like other stuff that you can just get on and have fun with and have like casual matches but there's been like outcry from people who want something a little more serious so i think you're going to start seeing that after fighters depending on how well that does which i don't really think is in question at this point right now i don't think anyone's too worried about how well or bad fighters going to be doing i think you're going to be seeing a lot of people asking for like the same treatment for other series Mm -hmm. um and i'm just i'm going to be it's going to be exciting to see how bandai handles that or handles those expectations or what they kind of do with that well the interesting thing about it is that Bandai pretty much has the license for the most of the major it, Shonen Jump series, like IPs. Everything. So th- th- they're gonna have to be like, okay, who's paying us the most? Like, <laughs> is it gonna Somebody be like to Toy? We'll like, shit, man. Like, I don't, I don't even know if you can get get them to get Arxis off Fighters for a couple of years to I make think, a One Piece game. I think what people, I think the best way to please everyone is to do a uh, Fighters style. Uh, just crossover jump game that would be the safest bet yeah that would be like all right you get to include someone from all these different series that people like and that makes everyone happy and then you know maybe that'd be something that you keep going moving forward without completely leaving behind fighters or you know fans of all those different series i would hope not yeah you consider the climate 
of fighting games right now, guest characters is total are, are a total possibility. I think in the future of this game, if it's, uh, I mean, God, if you compare every game that's coming out right now, at least one of them, at least they have at least one, right? Except for maybe Street Fighter sticking pretty close to. I'm waiting to see if uh, Fighters is gonna get just a weird obscure character just thrown in there, because why not? <laughs> I mean, January's the month to do it, right? <laughs> uh, Naruto got like Lars from Tekken once. I'm like, what is oh, that? Right. Oh, what yeah. the sure. fuck? Yeah. What are yeah. we doing? But okay, we'll do it. <laughs> I wonder if like uh, Fighters is going to get like Captain Planner or something ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> He's great over here in Japan. You guys keep destroying planets, man. I'm sick of this. <laughs> <laughs> I, so, but now, but now being so close to release, uh, the the dialogue is about to shift because yeah. you know we're fans of Dragon Ball, we're fans of Dragon Ball games, but we're also competitive players. Mm -hmm. uh, me and Ava are. So I, I don't know if you play competitively. You playing on? No, you, actually, I, you've been challenging I, I us. You've been challenging yeah, I've, us. Yeah, I've been talking a lot of shit. So I'm planning <laughs> on stepping up. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah, well, I, uh, I'll include you in that equation then. Yeah. And catch all three of the hands. You know. That's fair. I'll, I'll catch him. I'll throw him back. <laughs> there you go that's the spirit man that's, what I like to yeah, hear. that's definitely been my attitude like as soon as i saw the game and i saw what it was i'm like all right well this is what i'm just gonna dive into this is it this is do where you have I any finally... experience with any other competitive fighting uh, games i played uh mvc uh was it ultimate for like a little while okay and i played uh one of the like the jojo capcom game which people like go back wow, and forth between old like school, man. yeah well i played it on like xbox 360 when it was like remastered oh, okay. um, so i got oh, too okay. super late but like i got pretty good at that um and then people don't count all star battle as like a you know really competitive game. They but, tried, yeah. man. People were ready yeah, for that. It shit. was like it was like an attempt. Uh I feel like they could have built off that a lot more than they did because they ended up just making it like a party brawler. Yeah. The sequel. But I was really excited to see them go in like more of like the direction that we're going into fighters, and they just were like, No, we're nah, not doing that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't have too much experience. Uh that's why I'm definitely trying to get better. I'm trying to learn uh, learn with fighters and get involved. Okay. The boot camps are gonna be real, baby. Yeah, man, oh, yeah you want to stick around for the boot camps, I'm man. It. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. <laughs> but like now, but like but we're we're starting to think. I'm starting to think about things like okay, competition. Who are gonna be the people to beat? And at Jump Festa, we're gonna be looking at a tournament. Now, unfortunately, yes. there is a Dragon Ball Fighters tournament, but it is not the, as far as I know, current build. Because according to the website, it's the same roster as the beta build. Big exciting. You know, very exciting. Also very, you know, yeah, blah. Um, I don't know how you get away with that shit, especially after what you said earlier that usually the new builds are there. So yeah. normally you would expect at Jump Festa, if they're going to run anything, it's on whatever they're working with right I'm now. I'm trying to see that final build. I'm trying to see what they got. I mean, everybody is, man. Yeah, like, I, agree. I think that is like one of, and this is one of the weird things that happens. I don't know if it's like exclusive to fighting games, but it kind of feels like it, where mm. there's a grand opportunity to just go for the jugular, and instead they're just like, not yet. I feel like they're kind of going for it though, because a lot of the people that I know that are fans of like Blaze Blue and like Guilty Gear, every at every possible step they'll try to like limit fighters and what it can do. So they're like, it won't have this many characters because it's an Arxis game. It won't That's have. No like this character won't be playable because she's a villain and it's an Arxis game. It's like, stop limiting. This is a Dragon Ball game. Like first and foremost, yes, it's made by Arxis, mm -hmm. but Bandai I'm sure is giving them the bag and they're aware like, all right, there's these expectations that we have to set to. We have to have 12 Gokus. We got to like get, <laughs> we, there's like a standard that you have to read. And I'm not saying that there's anything bad about the other Arxis games, obviously not, but it's like, there's like a certain level of like expectation when you're doing a Dragon Ball game, like you have to do, you have to have this many characters because people are used to having 150 characters and they only use like five, but they're used to having like a high count. Uh, and I think they've done a good job at giving us a good amount of characters. I don't think anyone would have guessed 24. Uh, no, when you got announced. not the game. Like... I saw people guessing like 14. And like as far as DLC, people were saying like maybe it'll get two or three to have eight. So we'll probably end up with like, if I guess if it's like 24 or whatever it's going to be, because I think right now we're at. Yeah, I think right now we're at 23. Uh, I don't know, you know, what they're doing in January, but uh, it, it could be 32 or whatever it's going to be. And it's like, that's a lot. That's a lot for like the first in a series. Even though Extreme Batoden is kind of like the predecessor to this, like, it's a lot for the first in a series for an Arxis game to have that many characters. Well, the other thing that this is doing that Extreme Batoden didn't do is like actually add a lot of original characters where Extreme yeah. Batoden, which you literally did have like four or five Gokus. Yeah, you did. So, I mean, 
that was that was that that was that was a thing <laughs> it's like all right which goki you want to pick it's like all of them Oh, I'm scared that online when this game drops, every team you see is just going to be Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Blue Goku, Goku Rose. Well, <laughs> Goku actually, Black. we were talking about like I think you and Abe, 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 me and Abe were talking about how that may not even be tournament viable, you know, because one of the things that uh, you got to take into account is like, hey, how do all their assists work? Maybe yeah, work together. Go, maybe Goku Black has a shitty assist. Maybe it's just all three Super Saiyan Blue Goku has a shitty. Yeah, may, like it's something like that, you yeah, know. Yeah. Actually, if they were all three command mayors, that wouldn't be bad, honestly. Okay. <laughs> coming on me, oh, this is pretty fucking good. All right. Just full screen him. <laughs> yeah, you can just full screen. Because, like, whenever I'll, I'll explain it to you, because that's like, that's, that's like the deep shit. All happening. right. <laughs> that's like the deep, deep. We're getting like, into that Chicago shit. pizza yeah, level. The pizza right. level, the deep dish. <laughs> But um, but like yeah, if you if you what if like one of those characters has like a really useless assist and they're not that great on their own, you know? Dude, it's it's not even just that. It's like what if the other characters that aren't a Goku have a really good assist that you want to use, and then yeah. everybody tries to base their team around that assist or or that character. I've mm-hmm. seen you know, people really utilizing uh Vegeta's assist for like combos. He does like a like a, a, a just throws a bunch of like key blasts. Oh, yeah, he's got easily the best assist in the yeah, game in this I build that we're going to see. People were just like using him. There was uh during the French tournament or the the Paris Games Week tournament. I just saw some disgusting stuff from like this one cell player. It's like, "Hi, how, how are you doing this, buddy?" Oh, how, I think I know who part, you're talking about. Yeah. I forgot his name, but he was just manhandling people they're in a tournament with like crazy like v- mixed it mixing in vegeta support throwing people across the uh the map command grabbing from across the map oh yeah like you know so one ridiculous. of those characters that like you know he's uh he's going it's to be perfect. very he's gonna be very comfortable using those kinds of uh team mm-hmm. assists because he has a move that basically gives you time to set it up and then all you gotta do is hit the assist button and if you have the right assist you just recombo them and then do it again and then again and then you end with a level three and you just and, and it's like it, it's great it's great especially for newer players there's probably gonna be a lot of perfect cells week one <laughs> teamed up with vegeta you're gonna get like super easy damage that's high and doesn't cost you a lot of meter what was the team that uh that the whole chat like threw in the chat when ryan was uh on the show was it like like trunks vegeta and teen gohan <laughs> that everyone that? thought they were gonna pick it was something like that mm, yeah. it's probably gonna be like something else trunks is a really good support like a uh, assist move yeah he, he's uh uh what's it called change the future or something like that i don't know but that, that's the, no the big idea. the big explosion they the the palm. yeah like hey we were watching that one video where we were analyzing it and the guy used that to extend oh, like the one that the, was the, the, so sick dude that the, was the like, way the way they they utilize that especially for like the combo and how to continue it not only was it like it's cool you extended it but it just looks so looks sick mm-hmm. like that, that's what I'm most excited for. For me, the, the most exciting thing I want to see is people play it that have a relatively good understanding as to how to take advantage of the system. And we haven't had videos like that in a while. So, I mean, I didn't expect that type of gameplay even then when they released that. But seeing the possibilities like that, man, and see how... Yes, you can do that, but how flashy it looks! Where you just oh, no. want to watch it. There's over just like and over. one crazy, uh, like little GIF or, or YouTube uh, video that people are sharing, where it's like every character on both teams does a super, <laughs> and it ends with like I think you might have seen it. It ends with like Perfect Cell doing a solo Kamehameha, but it's just like 18 does a super. Uh, Vegeta does Big Bang Attack, and then Trunks comes out like, nope, stop right there, buddy. And then like Goku comes out like, mm, 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 mm. I'm stopping that right there. All the it's DACs, crazy. Man. <laughs> That's the kind of game it is, man. Like, yeah, actually, it's gonna be like an insane looking game, but it's it, look, it looks like mash friendly, but at the same time, there's like some pretty grimy shit you can do with those kind of things. Like, I've definitely given <laughs> a hit by it in the corner, and I'm like, I don't know which direction to block. Wait, what happened? I was like, just got stuck like in blocking in the wrong direction. You know, 18, 18 super is like especially good for that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of positive energy around the game. I think one of the only things that people are feeling negatively about is the Dragon Ball mechanic. Thank you. Oh. Oh, man yeah. was a, that's a segue right there right we, dude, we <laughs> always like to try to not remember it and like yeah. just put it in the back of our minds until it happens because yeah, like yeah. i constantly forget about it because nobody talks about it because i think it's like one of those things it's like okay if we don't even mention it it's I one of those harsh away. truths <laughs> yeah it's like oh eventually your pizza's gonna run out dude if you keep it in <laughs> yeah. uh, 
man. You know that too well, man. Well, I, mean, <laughs> I think the biggest problem with it is the fact that we just haven't got a clear answer on what it, how it works. You know. Well, we have the the scan that came out of V Jump. We yeah, yeah, we have that. We we know what it does, right? Yeah, it tries well, to break it down, but, but it, it, yeah, this is one important part. Now, like, like how the, the you wishes. get the ball? Yeah, like the balls, and then what happens when you? How do you activate? You know, how do you summon Shinron? Because in the video that we saw from Nico Nico, they were just like, you know, doing it on accident twice. I'm just hoping like, oh, it's not the worst case scenario. And the worst case scenario, and I'm horrified of it. It's just you can you can get one every time you auto combo. I feel like that's like the worst case scenario. I mean, like every time you auto combo, you just get a ball, and it's like, eh. Uh, I, I think I think that's what they've like. At least some people are like you know doing some sleuth work on it or something. I've definitely uh, heard people talking well, about like auto combos. I mean, I've heard that day. like it's the combo count. I've heard it's like getting a dynamic. Yeah, so, so, I and I think know. that's what it is because the the dynamic is done. By oh, part of the auto, auto combo. combo. Oh, yeah. rip. Yeah. So it was oh, like, I felt yeah. worse about it before uh, the scan translation because I'm like, whoa. You're gonna have to re like heal a character. You're gonna revive one of your characters. What's going on here? But, like the scan, it's like it makes me feel a little better. It's like oh, when you revive a character, they come back with twenty percent health. Mm. Like their that's wishes cool. themselves. Like Marvel Infinite, yeah, you know. Yeah, they seem like a, it seems reasonable. Uh, I think the one where you like just heal, just you you heal your whole team's blue health mm. is a little eh. But it's like whatever. A lot of people are complaining about the getting the bonus sparking icon. Or refill that is that's gonna be real that's, bad. Yeah, I, yeah, because yeah, it's good. That this, cancel. Yeah. Like it, it gives you, you two. Buff. If you have one already, it'll mm -hmm. give you a give second, you a second one. one. Like, ooh, God, yeah. And how's that gonna work with Ultimate Gohan, who already has like a built-in buff? Like, it's gonna be interesting to see like how that works when release uh, hits. Yeah, definitely. Um, and I'm still excited. You know, there's still so much positive. No, I'm still excited for it. I'm just, you know, a little, little worried. A little worried about, you know, like uh, everybody tried to get in my ear about 18 Goku's yesterday. I'm like, man, nobody's talking about Shenron. I, I've been arguing that so much because it's like, I mean, a lot of the people who are like fighting that whole Goku thing are people who haven't watched Super. So they just see another Goku and they're like, oh, here we go. We're about to pull a Xenoverse. We're about to pull it. It's like, that's. It, yeah, while it's technically Goku, it's not Goku. It's a different person in his body that uses different techniques. I mean, the only I think that carries over is instant transmission and like Kamehameha. But Goku doesn't ever use like hand blades. Goku definitely doesn't have a badass scythe that he ever pulls out. Like if he yeah. did, the show would be a very different show. <laughs> um, and I think just gameplay wise, I'm pretty sure it'll play differently because neither of the other Gokus have a support character with them. Uh, Goku good point. Black has Zamasu, and I think he comes in for grabs. He comes in uh, for what looks like the level one, which is like a weird spirit bomb kind of thing. I'm interested to see how that uh, okay. hits. But yeah, I, I just think on a fundamental level, they understood, all right, if we're going to do Goku Black, he has to be very different mm -hmm. than Super Saiyan Blue and Super Saiyan Goku. I mean, that's that's the, the best thing they could have did for that character yeah. because, I mean, it could have easily just been like, whatever, it's Goku with like... Yeah. Uh, this is Goku <laughs> pink hair mode. Like, oh no. <laughs> what did you guys do? I feel like I'm in the swap meet. What is just this? Power book? What are we doing? Oh, Don't God. worry, it's not bootleg, I swear. What color have we not done? <laughs> Green. Next? Oh no, man. Freaking Shaggy, next. Shaggy Verde. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Gohan uh, Blanco. Gohan Blanco, dude. Like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. I love the Gohan Blanco one. I, I'm not a, a fan of El, uh, El, El Hermano. Hermano? <laughs> <laughs> or El Gran Padre. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, it's awesome. But yeah, no, so, like, I, 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 right now, I'm looking, hopefully, at this tournament to see if there's any, like, any chance for any skill development in Japan? Because obviously, one of the people we're going to be looking, one of the scenes we're going to be looking at, is Japan. You know, mm -hmm. if you're in part of the FGC, uh, you're going to mm -hmm. be, you know, looking in that direction, just peeking um, over there, like what are you guys doing? See what's there? going on, you know. Yeah. But the funny thing is about that is that all of the energy and all of the, I won't say all of the hype, but like a lot of the, just like you know, the competitive spirit right now is coming from the West. You know, yeah, I agree. and I think that's a part, big part of why there's so much positivity behind it because like no one really gets to touch this game outside of us you know mm. like we've definitely yeah, we had first. like four or five <laughs> different events but we all got to play it more you know mm -hmm. so i i think 
I think that's definitely like, you know, something that can be sustained uh, post release. And something else that can sustain sustained post release is, like you said, another reveal, another character mm-hmm. reveal. Because I'm looking at this damn character roster, and God damn it, there's only 20 characters on it. <laughs> well, now we have uh, Hit Beerus in black. I think so that makes means there's funny. one more coming, right? Sh- I would hope that there's one more, unless yeah, they're, they're just they're monsters and they like, leave us in 23. <laughs> 23. They're just like, we're just mad men. We're going with odd numbers. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, like, yeah, like, ugh, maybe, right? So, <laughs> uh, so, odd numbers, gross. The, the, the rumored 24th character probably being Android 21, and then we're set for like maybe DLC. Maybe, maybe. We don't know yet, right? Because there's, there's people who religiously fight against the concept of 21 being playable. There's people really? who just like will, will bet their homes on 21, and I don't get it. Like, because the logic is, well, when she was announced, she didn't have stats or anything. And I'm like, yeah, well, isn't there like a screenshot of her in like this weird form that we don't really know what's going on about? Like, why? If that's part of her gameplay mechanic, why would they reveal that right away? The it's part of... Man, that no, no. screen is like some UFO shit where that we can't <laughs> understand. We can't it's comprehend. Like, weird. <laughs> like, what is that? It's, it's weird. Because uh, people people think it's like a female super boo, and it's like uh-huh. eh, I don't know. It it looks like her. It looks like this or that. We don't know what's going on. So I think, I think like swearing that she couldn't be, or for like for whatever reason, it's like just wait, just wait to see like what's going on. Like wait to see, wait for a trailer to show us what that thing is or what's going uh-huh. before you start betting your life on someone not being in. I just think it's strange. It's no, weird. it it is <laughs> it's definitely strange. And like what's even stranger is like they had that ESRB. Like, you know, oh, like, yeah, with the cleavage talking about somebody with some cleavage. And I'm like, that definitely ain't 21. I think it's Bulma, though. Not nah, ain't Bulma, man. She ain't showing nothing. She's well, well, because, the thing is, yeah, they're pretty modest, actually. Because in Super, like, Bulma's kind of out there. <laughs> she is, but uh, like, in the way they modeled her in this game, yeah, maybe like, in game, not so no, much. There's no, there is no sweater puppets, you know, there's no, <laughs> yes, RB no is kind of weird, too, because I know that in the in that same listing, they like mention Roshi basically. And it's like, mm-hmm. well, what's re- because they say like old pervert or something. And I think the only person <laughs> that can be related to is Roshi, unless Goku starts aging and get in some weird, uh, <laughs> some weird areas. I mean, possibly, but you know, it's like then, and then a lot of people also wouldn't want 21 playable because they want another actual Dragon Ball character in. Um, and I know a lot of people have said they wanted Roshi. And so, you know, who knows? No one knows what they could be doing. It's just weird. It it could be anything, but like you know, I I definitely am the kind of guy who doesn't like to count somebody uh, as a playable character before they're shown. But at the same yeah. time, it'd be kind of weird for her because they're obviously gonna make her the boss character. You know, they're like I've I've heard theories of people thinking that like she does something with sixteen and he becomes the boss character. Okay, and that, that's that. that's like it's like all right, I could see that happening, but you know, I don't know. I feel like she's like she looks like an interesting character, and she was made for the game specifically. I think it's weird to not have her be part of the roster, but. You never know because, like, again, Arxis has like a history, I guess, of having like villain characters or whatnot not playable or certain characters not That's playable. That's true. Yeah, they've definitely done so that before. You never know. It could just be like a weird, evil, twisted 16 or, or something. Just well, they, they'd have a hard time pulling it off because she's a freaking android. So, like, Dr. Jiro definitely didn't make no damn androids that couldn't fight. <laughs> Like he, nah, he's like, I'm just a sign. I'm gonna turn myself into a fucking robot, and I'm still gonna fight. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna That's put my brain in this body, and it, yeah. how did I do that? But I'm gonna do it. Now I know kung fu. Like what the fuck? Come on. Yeah, he downloaded a lot of Bruce Lee movies. <laughs> you know? I just <laughs> hit hard, baby. So like my, my my whole theory is like that's his like that's like his uh like his woman or some shit, and like that's 16's yeah, mom. A lot of people have been calling it 16's mom. Yeah, dude. They got, the, they got the orange hair. I can see, like you know, it's a little bit of a little bit of credence. I'm just saying, man. Like it, it's, it's possible. Oh shit! I just want to know what's going on with the story. Uh, yeah, we don't know, man. We, we it, yeah. it's, it's, I can't it's wait for the, release. It's at the point where you're just like, man, this is almost as important as Super, like a story. Yeah, oh. no, it is. And I, I think that's another interesting part about Twenty One specifically because I remember early on they they were saying like, oh yeah, we made the character for this game, but like. If they want to use her in the anime, they're not going to really definitely can. Like, what kind of I don't think, like, Toyotaro's like, hey, you know, I'm just going to. No, they're not, they're not even giving him the option at that point. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, they, they, they were just saying, they were looking right at him, like, if you want to use them, you yo, can. If you want her, now is the time before he starts picking up some heat. 
before she gets popular, Toyotaro. You want to put her in the manga? He did draw her, though. I think he did like a, a dope drawing of her, so you, know, you never know. But yeah. I mean, if Toriyama can draw it, he can draw it. It's not even yeah. no thing. Fair enough. Well, one thing yeah. that I think is really interesting is how both Fortunate uh, and how I guess Bandai Namco has been taking advantage of the timing of this game. Like, the climate for this game is ripe. I don't... Mm-hmm think any other game has been put in such a good place uh by the time it's released you know and uh, that's been like since right off the bat yeah like, right the release well not release like you know the the announcement mm-hmm. and timing know. has been impeccable on everything the announcement um every time they've released information um certain things have opened it up for dragon ball to be to have a bigger limelight than maybe it should have uh, the series being uh, concurrent right now, you know, there's just so many things that it has going for it that I I don't think I've ever seen somebody land on such a uh, an optimistic timeline uh, to take advantage of, you know. Yeah. Also, but, I think Bandai is. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, like, you know, uh, this the, the latter half of this year on its own, and possibly going into 2018, has been like absolutely Dragon Ball crazy. And despite Super having been running for a couple of years prior, you didn't really have that kind of energy anywhere, you mm-hmm. know? Like, it, it didn't really feel like... Int- and it might be a coincidence. It might purely be a coincidence. But if, for me, I definitely didn't see the spike in interest in Dragon Ball until Fighters was announced at E3. Mm-hmm. And then well, all of a sudden, like, everybody's, like, Dragon Ball fan art. Dragon Ball, you know, mentions on fucking Arby's Twitter. Fucking Dragon Ball, like, fire paintings, Arby's you know. Like, is the best. Like, dude, they, like, they went in on that shit, and I was like, <laughs> you had four Maybe years. Maybe get a sandwich, this. man. Yeah. Why, why now? And I'm thinking, like, Fighters is having that kind of effect. And not only is it big for Dragon Ball on its own, like, it's great mm-hmm. for Dragon Ball, but just for fighting games, like, the influence yeah. is like, whoa! Like, how, well, how do we handle this? It's great that that's what Bandai's doing, because I don't <clears throat> think Bandai is dumb. They understand that, I think everyone in a certain age range has, like, seen or at least knows of Dragon Ball. Definitely. Like, we all know who Goku is, even, you know, though some people might not have seen it. Like, my mom knows who Goku is. My mom has seen like, <laughs> Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. She, like, grew up with that kind of stuff. Um, so everyone is just kind of aware of what that is. So, you know, you take advantage of that and start striking the iron and making something really good. Uh, and that's why a lot of people have like feverishly been against having super characters in because super is like this new weird thing. Um, I, you know, there's just been that movement of like no super. And then they show super saiyan blue and it's like, that was in a dragon ball Z movie. Hey, that, like, was, that was me. That was me. Just like- <laughs> yeah. yeah you're, you're dedicated to that, man. Dude, it's like, yeah, dude, but it's yeah, what, it's the hopes of is all just trying to not, you know, just being the messenger. No, now I, I've seen some people say that they're not going to get it because there's super characters in now. And it's like, dude, you're going to get it. There's, if you're not going to get it cause there's super characters in, you were never going to get it. So, well, yeah, that, that's definitely them looking for a way out. Yeah. But like, you know, they're, they're not, I don't they're, want to get online. So I'm just not going to get it. Like, oh, man, I don't, I don't really approve of uh, hitting Beerus and. Hell Pockets is out here just challenging everybody to first to fives. I'm just going <laughs> to not even walk into that world. Dude, it's <laughs> going to walk gonna into the, the time first chamber. Time, it's going to be the first time in a long time that you're going to have uh, family members. Who want to play you and they probably never play these types of games ever no, but yeah. just because it's dragon ball yeah. hey what's up bro let's play i have friends that would never pick up even like a semi-serious fighting game that are like uh-huh. dude you're getting fighters what's going on what are we doing with fighters you're gonna be playing me with fighters i'm like <laughs> yeah oh shit hell yeah dude let's play together let's do it no nah, yeah like the community is just like kind of coming together like that you know uh you know when I, um whenever uh we go to like these events that might have it like on display like mm-hmm. at t- taking world finals for instance you know you end up interacting with all sorts of people that you know you normally didn't interact with you know like i'm over here it's, giving sonic fox tips and shit <laughs> it's great to see like a lot of the well-established like fighting game players like playing the game and enjoying it but i think it's gonna be interesting to see those stories of people who just have no experience and mm-hmm. came into fighters because they enjoyed the game and whatnot and just became like these monsters. That's gonna be the best. It's like, oh yeah, dude, the last fighting game that I played before this was like Naruto Shinobi Striker. And it's like, what? And then they just they get <laughs> they, it's like, what do you mean? And they get on the fighters and it's like, yeah, this is gonna be awful at this. And he just bodies you and puts you in the dirt. I'm like, all right, well, gotta look at the, the book completely differently now. <laughs> 
strange. Well, man, what is your agenda against freaking Shinobi Strikers, man? No, I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like if you're, if you're going to be, like, you can't call Shinobi Strikers a fighter in the same kind of, like, quest. <laughs> no, no, I, I get you, yeah. You know, so it's just, there's going to be those people who come from, like, Call of Duty, like, I guess we could say, and like, yeah, I picked it up because it was Dragon Ball, and I ended up being a monster, so I just, uh, I get played it. Here I am. Hey, man, you know. Oh, Dragon Ball, bro? We're going to play yeah. some Dragon Ball? Tro- trophies in my hand, you see it? Uh, there it is. Cool, baby. <laughs> Like I definitely, I, I can't wait for that shit. You know, that's that's another reason why I'm looking at this here tournament because I'm like, man, are they are they on the grind in Japan yet? Like, am I gonna see like some some Nakiel versus Tatsu level play in Japan? I hope so. I hope so too because I, I hope so. I feel like this is their chance to determine if this is gonna be a thing out there because they've already went and made the bed with uh with um Nuki and Daigo. Yeah, and had them play the exhibition, and I gotta be honest, that was hot garbage. That was ass of rocks, <laughs> like a box of shit rocks. You know, like these guys they are freaking professional fighting game players, and they're just mashing the light punch button. I'm okay with that. I'm not saying that you know yeah. they had to be amazing or anything, but it was a box of dicks. Yeah. Um, they gotta do better because I want these guys to be a force to be reckoned with, just like they're a force to be reckoned with in every other fighting game uh, that's currently you know coming out of Japan. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be an arcade release, but I know that would help a lot. But at the yeah, same time, true. the uh, yeah, the fighting game that. culture is like built around land centers in Japan right now. They definitely have, are embracing that more often. So the game center yeah. aspect of Japan's gamer culture is coming together. So it's possible either, even if it doesn't have an arcade release. Mm-hmm. But Dude, they got to show us something tonight. You know, it's possible uh, if you... I'm sure you guys know who Daigo is. They got a, a manga about this dude. They could make a manga about you. you uh, yeah, right, right. That dude, because of Dragon Ball Fighters, they made a manga just for you. And now you're the dude in front of the camera oh talking about buy this stick, buy this book. <laughs> you know, you're writing books now about what it's like to come from Shinobi Strikers and play Dragon Ball Fighters and be the shit. <laughs> from Rags to Riches. Oh yeah, my god. Go. Yes. <laughs> Like they, they, it's, it's got to happen, man. Because like we already know what's going to happen over here. Like the, the, yeah. the, the, the train, as you said, is just going too fast to be yeah. stopped. Over oh no, the it's West. not stopping. Like it, it, like even if the game came out and it's like just, just, just broke. It's just broke out the box. Yeah. People are going to wait for it to be fixed. There's no know? breaks. There's, there's, there's no breaks on it. It's too late. Mm-hmm. Japan is the only one holding back at this point. It's the ironic part about this is that <laughs> they are the only ones who just. <clears throat> I'm not going to say they don't seem to be on board with it because they're definitely interested. But as far as promotion goes, like this well, is yeah, a, this, this is a, this is a this make or break happen. moment. A like, little thing we're putting now called Dragon Ball Fighters. We're, I think we're going to enjoy it. It's, it's like, only being oh, made. What out are you here. guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not man. getting the first. So they're mm. trying to play it so cool right now, yeah, and I'm like, I feel like I, I feel like that that's your friend in high school. That's like he liked that girl. But he's like, oh, man, I can't be I too know. thirsty, you know? Like, I that's, know, yeah, I don't want to try too hard, or, right? Or, it... or there's a different aspect to that, man. What if it's like, listen, if I just go in hard on this, then I don't get all of this, baby. I'm playing the game oh, right. <laughs> I'm playing the game right. You know, the, Casting the thing... a wide net. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Thing is, is that people don't know how to play this game, and I just came in here with the fattest D. What's good? <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's where we're headed now, I guess. Let everybody else fall <laughs> That's what we're doing. Then I'm in. I'll just slide in from behind real quick, Jesus. you know? I'll but let you like, just be worried about me. <laughs> That's how they just come into this. <laughs> worried about me. That's all just, I got to say. I mean, if it's like that, then I'm totally satisfied with it. But at yeah. the same time, just going into this, I'm like, damn, dude. Like, you don't want the girl to think you're not interested, you know, nah, and start you gotta, fucking with your boy. You got to get involved. You know? You gotta, you gotta stay gotta hungry. So hopefully they give them a chance to practice, and they can put on a good show. I think it's happening on the seventeenth. So, um, you know, I, I really want to see. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just really hungry for some high level action in Dragon Ball Fighters because I know it's there. We all know. Yeah, it's I'm sure there. it definitely exists. We just gotta see it. We gotta see yeah. it done. And like, and the ironic part is, Dragon Ball Fighters has had the shortest release window mm-hmm. ever. And probably the least amount of high level play displayed. Fair enough. That it's is it's crazy. just been that that one build basically for the most part for the it's like eh, I want to see more. I want to see more characters. I want to see what like a, a good Gohan could do. 
not just like team gohan for for six months yeah man like i can't wait to just somebody just blow my mind with this game you know because like the shit i come up with when i when i was playing in beta Uh like i was like okay that's cool that's like you know nice and you know vanilla and shit i love seeing stuff that i would have like never imagined until i saw it done (laughs) yeah and, and, and that's what's gonna make this game amazing you know like mm-hmm. watching tatsu and nakio play watching those guys from uh paris play and then hopefully watching these guys this weekend play hopefully somebody's got some maybe somebody's been theory fighting for like months already and it was like okay <laughs> this is my chance just mind training <laughs> this is yeah exactly like like go on and, pr- and krill and we're doing on the spaceship you know just fight each other in your dreams yeah. Um, it also has the benefit of being a Dragon Ball game, so all those ridiculous moments have the bonus of being like crazy anime battles. So you see like the crazy combo someone's pulling off, and it's like, oh, this looks like Goku having his way with Frieza. <laughs> throwing him across, not that way, but like throwing him across, <laughs> throw him across the room and out the window and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. No, nah, man, I, I can't wait, man. I just there's so many, so many factors. I think we're all sickly excited for this game. Definitely, man. Like I'm already, my throat is, is thrashed <laughs> from just like this episode alone. Do we have any questions? Uh, yeah. Let's head into the questions section, ladies and gentlemen, because the media is popping right now. I don't know if you saw that link, but oh god, it's hot. Oh, the boy. the question section or the question session? I mean, they, 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 they both Bars. section. I like them both. All right. Okay. So let's see. Uh, where did I put this Discord channel? There you are. Okay. So I don't, uh, we have some, some silly questions here. Uh, ZChris13 asks, what is your power level? All you guys throw out a number? I don't know. Uh, six billion. Oh, shit. I think that's Mm. high. I don't know. Uh, you know what, man? I don't know the scale. Power levels are bullshit. Okay. Yeah, I'm on that. (laughs) I I have a weird answer for this. Uh, when Drag... When Dragon Ball Fusions came out, there was like a thing you could do where you could take a picture of yourself and like scale your power level, but you had to fuse with someone else. So you had to have two people side by side taking photos of each other mm-hmm. and like it would fuse your face together and then give you a power level. So me and oh. TG did like this weird fusion and it came out with some like ridiculously low power level. So my power level is embarrassingly low and I don't know the number and if I knew it, I wouldn't share it. All right. I'm just a weakling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, next question from a good friend of Goon's GVG guy. He, this is specifically for Hell Pockets. He says, Pockets, oh, no. Pockets pick for the DLC characters. Put me go. on the spot. Let's go. Oh, man. All right, so Broly was one of them. Uh, oh, man, this is tough. Because I'm, I'm just going heavy here. So Broly's one of them. Uh, Bardock. Mm. Um, cooler. Mm. Uh, this last one's a little tough because uh, we've got four super characters beyond this. But the, I'm gonna have to go with. Are you gonna join PyCon Master Race? No, nah, hell not. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I want to go with Android like 13, but at the same time, I just don't believe it. I don't nice. believe it. I don't believe Android 13 would fit in this game because I think movie characters are going to be a big thing in the uh, in the first half of the DLC. You say Janimba? But... Janimba, there we go. That would be that's hey. a safe pick. Yeah. All right. So Janimba, probably Janimba. Now super characters. I'm thinking Kaba. I'm thinking you know Fuse Amas. I'm thinking uh, Frost. Yeah, will that work? No, not Frost. Uh, is his name Frost? Uh yeah, the Frieza the Frieza clone basically. Yeah, Frost. Yeah. I keep thinking because like Frost and then Frost demons, and I'm like, wow, they named him. Yeah, no. Named himself after his fucking race. What are that? Went out like a chump though, bro. <laughs> Went out like a fucking chump, man. <laughs> Binga. Your race. Uh, and the last pick. And this is where things are gonna get shaken up because I feel like this is gonna be the end of the season, and it's going to be something that people are like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the doors are open. Uh oh. I think it's Uh-oh. gonna be a, a GT character. Uh oh, the floodgates. The floodgates open. What's happening here? What's going on? Now the question is: Is this gonna be a villain or a hero? Obviously, this game does could totally use another villain. And GT has plenty of them. Uh oh. Nah, dude, they're gonna hit you with Kid Goku. <laughs> Actually, they're gonna hit I you with Pan's robot. That could be real. I don't know. It could be GT Kid Goku though. That would totally be the perfect. Uh, that would that would be the perfect uh, the happy medium is Kid Goku from GT because he can fucking fly and shit. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But if it, but I gotta go with Omega Shenron, just to just get everybody being like, I take Omega Shenron. And then they worked their way backwards from that in season two, which I hope we have. Yeah, man, I'd love it. That's my pockets picks for uh, the eight DLC characters. All right. Solid uh, group of characters that I wasn't paying attention to. Uh, this one <laughs> is for uh, guest HD, specifically for hey. you. Uh, Z Chris thirteen asks, "What do you have against my man Yamcha?" I have absolutely nothing against Yamcha, uh, and I, I made like uh, these teaser images for the the trailer. So I've been counting down for like the last fourteen days, and I specifically chose Yamcha to put on the last image because Yamcha. Like during the marketing, has just been God Yamcha, according to Bandai. So I'm, I'm looking forward to see how Yamcha's going to play. Uh, I have nothing against Yamcha. I don't know where that's come from. <laughs> I love Yamcha. I think everybody assumes that people hate Yamcha just because. Nah, I mean, Yamcha's <laughs> just the perpetual taker of L's, but you, you got to love him. Still yeah, useful. that's true. He's got a hole in his chest. He, you know, he, <laughs> he bitched out afterwards. He's like, yeah. you know, I'm not fighting no more. Rip. Yeah, uh, poor guy. This one, next question comes from Chunk Brixen, whose name I still love. I love this name so much. Um, he, this question is specifically for you, big nerd, which I'm assuming is Hell Pockets. Uh, he asks, Oh, that's you? Okay, you're the big nerd. He says, pretty Are you big nerd? Uh, are you still going to at me when there's more than 30 characters, you big nerd? Yes, I will. All right. Yes, I will. <laughs> that wasn't for me. Cool. <laughs> Hell Pockets no. is still the big nerd in my book. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so we have three questions from Ben I'm going to do them one at a time. Uh, this is specifically for HG. If you have the opportunity and money to go to Japan, are you going to go to cover Jump Festa next year? I'd love to, uh, as long as uh, you know I, I have my, my camera hidden somewhere. <laughs> Oh, you're me out for it. You're like, I'm not yeah, even oh, no, if, my camera, dog. No, no, no. If I'm going, I'm not just going for like, oh, well, that is a pleasant experience. I'm going <laughs> with like cameras on every sleeve going and all more, my shirt man. pocket buttons. I'm going looking like, uh, what is his name? There's like a Captain Gadget or whatever it was. The Inspector, Inspector, Inspector Gadget. Gadget. Like, there you go. I, way before my time, but that's what I'm going as. I'm cosplaying. Dude, like now what you got to do is like just put hello cameras all over your body and then like, <laughs> you know, just oh, I'm cosplaying. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. None of these are on. I mean, obviously, but you know, yeah. But to answer the question simply, I'd love to go. Um, it's just like one of those things where covering the event, you obviously like. Oh, I would love to be there. Um, but then, who's there to write the, the the articles and do all the YouTube videos and stuff? I'd love to go though. I probably would go if I had the chance to go. Okay. Uh, next question. Same. Another one from Benny. Uh, all of you guys. He says, which obscure character from the Dragon Ball universe? Uh, that you want to see in Dragon Ball Fighters, apart from Adderley. Mm. Obscure. Tackle first. How obscure? The farmer. Yeah. Oh, well, that's yeah. that's the was... obvious pick. He has to be him. <laughs> he only has one move, and it's just like, you know, or actually, no, a crouching shot too. There we go. I like how the farmer via the internet has like worked his way out of obscurity. I don't even think he counts anymore as an obscure <laughs> character. We want him in every game. Got a bullet in his forehead thanks to Raditz. <laughs> nah, spoilers. God he damn. lived though. No, he lives. <laughs> he's, a, like, he's around in Super still. Oh, like, what? I'm I've kidding. seen like no, I swear I've seen like an image that someone took and they showed him throughout the entire DBZ series and he's in Super with the same blue truck and everything. Like he survived. That guy legit might have a place in the, in the roster. Just because of that feat of surviving an attack from Raditz. What the fuck? It's, yeah, damn. plot twist, right? Say <laughs> <laughs> it, blew your mind. Obscure no more, bro. Obscure no more. Uh, <laughs> my obscure character, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep the floodgates for GT open. Uh, I would go, and she's not really obscure, but you wouldn't expect her in a game like this. I would take Pan with uh, the little robot as like a support. Oh, okay, I think that'd yeah. be super fun. All right. Um, my obscure character though, anyway, <laughs> Team Goten. <laughs> <laughs> like that's got to be like one of the most obscure characters in the history of Dragon Ball because it's just like we only get to see him haircut. for like twenty minutes. <laughs> oh, poor Goten. Yeah, man. Like <laughs> that's that is like the most sought after character that they just refuse to utilize. Yeah, they won't even age them up in Super. They're just like, eh, hey, you know, they're kids. Yeah, even Trunks is getting taller. And he's like, nah. Goten's. Uh, Goten, you're cool. You're a little Goku. Yeah. Gotta sell toys. <laughs> you're gonna look just like this when you become a dad. You know? <laughs> uh, Abe, you got a character? 
Oh, I was saying the farmer, dude. Oh, yeah, okay. Like, oh, that was yeah. legit. That was like, yeah, former. Yeah. Yeah. former. All right. So, uh, he, his third and final question. Lastly. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Uh, in five to seven years, after the success of Dragon Ball Fighters, will Bandai, oh, Na- yeah, will Bandai Namco and Arxis do the logical step of making an ultimate Shonen Jump fighting game in the future? After all, uh, Shu... Shueisha? Shueisha. Shueisha mm-hmm. is celebrating 50 years of Joe. <laughs> I think we'd all love it to happen. Uh, again, Shonen Jump and everything, they're always celebrating some anniversary for something. That's just how long it's been around. Yeah, at this it's point. like super old. Yeah, it's like, I think that now it's like One Piece's 20th anniversary. The other year was Naruto. It's going to be Dragon Ball soon. Um, I'd love to see it, obviously. I'm sure a lot of people would love to see it because a lot of people... Uh, even when J-Stars was being announced, people were excited for that. And that has a lot of like obscure characters in it, but people still kind of, oh, I've seen that character around. I think, um, especially now that Shonen Jump's roster is, like, anime is becoming a lot more mainstream. I think uh, a lot of the roster picks now, people are going to recognize more. I think it'd be great. I think people would love to see it. Um, I think that they need to establish some other games first. Uh, That's true. That are going to be done by Arxis. Usually when you do these big all-star battles at least two of the ips already have their own standalone games in that genre Mm -hmm. not that they couldn't just bypass it and just say hey it's dragon ball fighters with you know shonen jump characters all over the place i think that totally works yeah but i feel like they're gonna try to qualify that with maybe a uh one piece fighting game or a naruto fighting game or fuck even a bleach fighting game Bleach gets no love. It has an amazing. I don't understand. I love Bleach, uh, and they have like good ones in the PSP sort of the Heat the Soul series are pretty. Yeah, fun. Yeah, that's those are good too. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, uh, so next question okay. comes from Krillin the villain. Uh, he says, "Do you guys think once people actually get into the game and learn the characters' functions, <laughs> that most of the characters' favoritisms will lessen?" Uh, like someone who is a Gotenks fan might not touch Gotenks if his functions require him or require a high level, uh, high learning curve, and choose someone who can be used at an easier slash simpler level. You know that is a very funny question coming from a guy named Krillin the villain. I feel like he's trying to skip out of playing Krillin. <laughs> so he's like, fuck that character. <laughs> I thought I wanted to play him, but no. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I think actually no, no. I think that this will be one of those games where yeah, yeah, sure. Though people will say like, oh, this is too hard. I'm not gonna bother with it because I gotta, I don't want to spend that much time learning and then trying to have fun with the game. But I think this is gonna be one of those games where people are gonna make the effort to play their their favorite characters at a high level if they want to. Um, obviously, if the character just doesn't jive with them, like if they just don't have the mentality to play that character, then they probably won't. But. Uh, so many people love Dragon Ball characters and have already attached themselves to like, you know, you know, cast members and started up teams. And the cool thing about Dragon Ball Fighters is that at its, at its most basic level, anybody can play it, you know? Dude, so let me ask you guys this question, because uh, I know this is how I feel. But don't you feel like at your core that you just have to play certain characters regardless yes. of their function? Like, it's just you would feel incomplete, right? Like, I've never played a game like that before where it I just get this feeling in my gut, like, dude, I gotta fucking play this character. Well, it's because it's it's Dragon Ball, and, like, you have, if you, like, were ever a fan of the series, you have an attachment to certain characters already mm-hmm. that it's just, it's already existent. Like, it's not like when they do a new fighting game and, like, you're introduced to these new characters, you're, you're aware of who Goku is. Like, you have, yeah. like, oh, I want to play as Goku even if I gotta, like... I don't care what I got to go through to have a good Goku. Uh, I, I got to do it because I love that character. It's that sort of thing. Like I mean, there's characters like Piccolo that I, I, I don't care what struggle I have to go through. I have to get Piccolo in like one of my teams. I have to have him in there. Uh, one, because I do his voice. And two, like, <laughs> I just, I really love Piccolo. Oh, man. Like for me, it's like, like I, I definitely had that fear that I would be playing the same team that I played mm-hmm. in the beta when the full game comes out. And like, mm-hmm. people will look at you and be like, oh, you're not really experiencing the full game that way. And I'm like, yeah, you're, you're kind of right, but at the same time, you're not, because like, for me, this is the game. You yeah, know? This, is, this is why they made it for me, so that I can enjoy these characters the way I want to. Um, no, no, realistically, you know, I'm, I'm still thinking about keeping Vegeta in trunks and possibly switching out 18 for like, 
maybe Kid Boo or Gotenks or if I mean if if Goku Black looks as cool, you know, as he does in the show, I mean it might it might go to him. Can't wait to see him. Yeah, man. Like, they are all that way now. We're just thirsting. Like, uh, I see these, I see where these you at, on Twitter now, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm waiting for Bandai to hit me up, like, what's up, big head? <laughs> we want to see his <laughs> <laughs> Try to catch this exclusive footage? Like, rip. That hurts. <sighs> Is that it? Yeah, that's all for questions. We have something from Dr. Zool. I, I really like saying his name, but uh, it's, it has nothing to do with Dragon Ball. Or anything. Oh, yeah. It is a solid that's, question, and I, that's, that's, I, that that's actually probably happening though. So he doesn't need to really freak out. Or hopefully, nothing. but yeah. Uh, again, everybody, uh, if you want to ask questions on future shows, be sure to join the official Game Goons Discord, uh, where we have various things that we do here. I'll pop the link in chat for all y'all. Uh, you can ask a question right now that'll be answered next week because we are finished answering questions for the week. Uh, people didn't get the questions in on time. Sorry, everybody. It's okay. It's the first double episode ever. You know, people were just happy to be. You know, like you know, that's that's cool. You know, mm -hmm. getting hyped. For oh my god, that yeah. was so cool. There's some goodness. Oh, that's oh. <laughs> oh on Twitter. Oh, man. Uh, for people who can't see it, I just I saw an image of Beerus oh, uh, wow. from the game on Twitter, oh, and I posted it in dude, the chat. That shit. Yeah. The Weiss, it looks like he's in his intro or something, and it looks great. I can't that wait means Weiss has it. a model, dude. Weiss, uh -oh. oh my god! Uh oh, let's go! Oh, oh, my, my pocket's big, damn it! <laughs> dude, this, oh, this fucking game looks too Two good. Two screenshots guys. just like, explodes the excitement. Oh, oh these are direct capture. Shit. Look at that. This is nice. Yeah, oh, I can't holy wait. Shit. Oh my god, dude. This game. Gonna retweet that. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You got us, bro. Done. I'm done. <laughs> Stab me in the freaking balls already. Dude, dude how, how, many, how many times are they going to, uh, like, every time they release a character or a still of a character, it fucking gets me like, what the fuck? I just can't believe it's real, man. Every time I see, like, Team Gohan, it's just like, dude, this is like, a, this is a game. How is this a game? This is something I could, it's like when people saw... Pong for the first time, like I can control what's on the TV. It's like that's how I feel with this. Like, like a bam, right? Like this, this isn't like an animation. <laughs> I can't wait, and, and I I know uh, Gibby and Hellpockets, you guys kind of experienced this at PlayStation Experience, where you guys show people who don't really know anything about these games. You're like, dude, oh, yeah, yeah. here's a game, bro, and then you blow their fucking minds. It's like, what the fuck? No, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's ridiculous, man. Like. I mean, for me, that's a really cool feeling. People are just like, oh, I didn't know about Dragon Ball Fighters, and I'm like, well, here you go, and you're just like, like, out of the, over the freaking moon. But, I mean, it, it's still fresh for me, as you as you just saw. Like, it, oh, <laughs> it's just not gonna stop, dude. What are they doing, man? I'm like, that just isn't that divine lasso. I think people were asking for that I'm, moose uh, with the sword. Is that what they call that super? Like, yeah, I think like so. I think that that's what it is. Like, yeah. Like he does like a that pose specifically. He throws like a, a bunch yeah, of needles no. or something. I don't know. I'm not to go uh, attack names. I man. <laughs> Fucking sweet. Man. Dragon Ball Fighters. January 26th, Z Day. Taking my breath like away. Like 41 days left, something like that. It's around there. Oh my god, dude, too far away. Yeah. Reaction video, enough. let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> like every week is a reaction video here, man. Oh! <laughs> it's like just keeps on zooming the camera like oh! <laughs> you, you know the uh the picture that every reaction video has of like somebody screaming on it as their uh their uh fucking JPEG yeah, their or whatever. Thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, thumbnail, yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> Before Dragon Ball Fighters, after Dragon Ball Fighters. Oh, oh my God! Destroyed. Uh, so fuck, dude. Like, again, another fantastic episode of Mount Patsu Arcade in the books. Every week. Yeah, man. Thanks, man. And not thanks twice for, in once. Thanks for being here, dude. Like, I'm not, man. I'm a fan. Yeah, really. Thank you. Be on. Well, really I really great appreciate experience. that. No, I appreciate it too. I appreciate being on. Uh, like, we've been so lucky to have these very unique perspectives, like, uh, with these guests, man. Like, everybody really comes from different corners of Dragon Ball fandom. And we're just, I feel like the show has been able to show a lot of people 
just how diverse it can be, which I feel makes the release of this game that big when it comes out, man, because we really come from so many different places, you know? That's true. It's like, that's pretty much what it's about, you know? Okay. Like, yeah. Reunited like, I don't, by I don't, I don't, This is another episode entirely on its own, but I think that's possibly what people, will, what scares people about Dragon Ball Fighters is that there is a a tidal wave of change that it, that it brings with it. And, you know, some people are ready to jump in and some people are just like, wait, I'm still doing this other thing over here. Mm -hmm. Not really ready for that, but you know, better get ready. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming whether you want it to or not. Yeah, man. We got a great community of all these people that are going to are already grinding on this info and grinding on this game as far as like providing content or even just theory fighting about all this stuff. Um, I just can't wait to see what the climate of that looks like after release uh, when we're all at uh, full speed, man. Mm -hmm. So yeah, been a great episode, ladies and gentlemen. Um, fuck, uh, so yeah, next week we do have another episode, uh, you know, the post jump festa episode. So we should, I think we might change the day, guys. It might be on Wednesday, uh, depending on the situation. But we will keep you guys updated. Um, what else do we got going on in the future, uh, Hell Pockets? Oh, shoot. It's almost Christmas time. So oh, that's right. That's something that's coming up. And, I mean, after that, it's just 26 more days until Z-Day. Yeah, dude, we're already off to the races. Everybody's off to the races, man. I, I, I see you guys hustling, you oh, know, <laughs> the the rest of the community and uh, all you guys. So it's gonna be people, are getting, people are putting stuff together, man. Like we're pretty pretty soon. We may not even be the only show dedicated to this. Uh oh, you know? but you know? hey, I'll tell you what, we definitely are one of the first. We're definitely uh, one of the first, if not the first, you know, Uh, which is, is cool. Shit, man. The more the merrier. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I'll tell you what. These people that have been hustling since way before even this game got announced, <laughs> uh, definitely showing their medal right now, and uh, the fact that they deserve to be in the limelight as well. For sure. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll hand it off to you, Help Pockets. You can close us out for tonight. All right. Well, once again, thank you to everybody for watching another great episode of Mount Palazzo Arcade. A very special episode of Mount Palazzo Arcade. <laughs> uh, I don't know if this counts as like the official count or not. Maybe like this. Yeah, is, hell this yeah. Episode, hell episode, yeah. Is this, yeah episode twenty, man. Episode twenty. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Um, but yeah, so we'll be checking you guys out uh, next week. Remember to check out the Bandai Namco YouTube stream, which should be happening, I believe, later today, also. And also happening tomorrow, where you will get to see the Dragon Ball Fighters tournament from the Jump Festa event. Um, follow Shonen Games at hey. Shonen Games with a Z on Twitter. Yes. Um, I, I, right I, meant, right there. I, I meant to ask you why you, whatever. I don't, I'm pretty sure it's like some weird, we went, like. It, it, we went through a bunch of dumb names, like really, really awful names. And we're, uh, me and Game Todgers, both of our channels end with game or we'll have games. It was like a personal channel, so we're like, all right, well, let's try to work this in there. Oh and man, this ended up becoming yeah. There's a little you, bit of lore behind you, there. You guys are literally in the right place at the right time with Dragon Ball Fighters. <laughs> well, you know? Yeah, see, we're just <laughs> Ben. I need to hit us up so we can take advantage of it. Yeah, I know, man. Um, anyway, you guys have a good night, and we'll may see you next week. And always remember, keep it super. You know what I'm saying?